Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to look at an STAM sample question. Uh, you will find this on the SOA website. And this is uh, question number 319. Uh, it deals with uh, discounted reserves. So you are given uh, as part of the question, the data, uh, accident years uh, 5 to 8 and you're given the cumulative paid loss triangle. And um, you're also given the uh, H2H uh, paid loss development factors, also given to you, that's good. And they tell me that the interest rate is 5% per annum effective. Okay, what are we asked to find? We're asked to calculate the ratio of discounted reserves to undiscounted reserves as of, let me move this up a little bit as of December 31st, calendar year 8. Okay, a few things. Just by looking at the tables provided, uh, from the age to age uh, development factors given, I see that 48 to ultimate, it's 1.0. 48 to ultimate is 1.0. So um, we can forget about accident year 5. Okay? We can forget about accident year five because accident year five, it is fully developed. Okay, so we don't have to worry about accident year five. Again, let me tell you, we are told that the 48 to ultimate selected age to age paid loss development factor is one. So there's no development after 48 months. Therefore, we can forget about accident year five. Now, what we need to worry about is we need to keep in mind that we are looking at discounted reserves. And um, so uh, what we need to focus on will be the incremental unpaid uh, that develop. Again, since we are dealing with discounted reserves, we need to worry about the incremental unpaid losses that develop. So um, let's start slowly. First off, um, we will look at accident year 8 and we'll see how the cumulative, I repeat, how the cumulative uh, losses develop yeah, from for each 12-month period. So we are given um, accident year 8. Let me look at the picture that I've drawn here so that we can talk about this. Great. Okay. On this timeline, if you will, I have accident year 8. I'm considering accident year 8 first, yeah? Okay. And then I have calendar year 9, calendar year 10, and calendar year 11. Remember, we are dealing with uh, a 48-month development period. Okay, so I can stop at calendar year 11. So, um, I'm trying to see how my cumulative losses develop, yeah? So, for accident year 8, I have 35,000 bucks. And so, that will develop in calendar year 9 to 70,000. How do I get that? Take 35,000, let me write it here, 35,000 times 2, okay? It will develop to 70,000 in calendar year 9, and this 70,000 will develop to 84,000 in calendar year 10. How do you get that? You take the 70,000 times 1.2. Okay, and this 84,000 will develop to 96,600 in calendar year 11. That is, you will take 84,000, okay, and multiply that by 1.15. So what are we doing here? We are seeing how the cumulative paid losses develop. And to get those numbers, we are using the development factors. Okay, once we're done with this, we have the cumulative paid losses. Now we want to get the incremental paid losses that develop. I repeat, we want to get the inc incremental paid losses that develop. That's easy, yeah? So you take 70,000, excuse me, 70,000 and you take away 35,000, you will get 35,000 here, okay? Let me erase it, yeah? And then we can, okay. Okay, this um, 70,000, you take it and you minus 35,000, you will get 35,000. Then you take 84,000 minus 70,000, you will get 14,000. 
Take 96,600 minus 84,000, you'll get 12,600. So what are we doing here? We're getting the incremental unpaid, yeah? That developed over the four-year period. Okay, great. So um, now that we know this, we are basically done for excellent year eight. To get your undiscounted reserves, okay? To get your undiscounted reserves, just add up all this incremental unpaid that will develop, yeah? 35,000, 14,000, 12,600, I've done it here for you, you will get 61,600. Okay, that's your undiscounted. Now for discounted, let me clear this thing a bit. Okay. Okay. So, to get the discounted reserves, we look at this number here, 35,000. That's is the amount that you expect to pay in calendar year 9 and we are going to assume that you pay in the middle of the year and we are looking at December 31st calendar year 8 so we're looking at this point so we need to take this amount and bring it back by half a year in other words we need to discount it by half a year so you take 35,000 multiply by 1.05 raised to the power of minus half okay because we are told the interest is 5% do the same for this 14,000, okay, 14,000, remember it's paid here, so I have got a one plus a half, it'll be one and a half years, so 14,000 times 1.05 raised to the power of minus 3 over 2, and you can finish off with 12,600 times 1.05 raised to the power of minus 2 and a half. Use the calculator, you'll get your discounted reserves, basically what are you doing, okay, you're just bringing it back to this point here in time. December 31st calendar year 8 yeah discounting remember we have the discount factor V so uh, use your calculator and you'll get your discounted reserves as 58 321.65 your undiscounted that was easy 61600 you just repeat this whole thing for accident year 7 okay I've done it for accident year 8 so you repeat the thing for accident year 7 um, let me bring the screen up Okay, for accident year 7, let me erase this, yeah? Okay. Great. So, we are looking at, um, they have paid uh, up to 31st December, calendar 8, they have paid 65,000. Okay, so, remember this is accident year 7, so we are looking at a period a development period of 48 months so I've got calendar year 8 calendar year 9 and calendar year 10 stop yeah uh, we will take the amount they have paid uh, 65,000 multiply that okay take 65,000 multiply that by 1.2 okay multiply 1.2 and let me bring that down a bit yeah so that you can see what I'm doing okay we're looking at this number here and multiplying that by 1.2 and you will get 78,000 okay and you take this 78,000 and you multiply by 1.15 you'll get 89,700 so now we have got our uh, cumulative uh, paid losses yeah okay when I'm when I say cumulative paid remember we are developing the cumulative paid losses yeah using the development factors so now that we have that we can work out the uh, incremental unpaid that develop by taking 78,000 minus 65,000 let me move the screen up a little bit okay take 78,000 minus your 65,000 you will get 13,000 okay and then you take your 87 89 700 minus 78 you will get this amount okay 11 700 so to get the undiscounted that's easy just take the incremental unpaid that develop and add them up yeah that's what I've done here so you'll get 24700 and uh, remember we are standing here okay so this 13,000 is paid in the middle of the year that's an assumption we make so let's bring it back to get the discounted reserves 13,000 times 1.05 raised to the power of minus half and 11700 is here in the middle of the year so you bring it back by one and a half years that's what you see here Use a calculator and you'll get 23561.02.
So we're almost done. What's left is only accident year six. Yeah, accident year six. And um, that was easy. Yeah, accident year six. We are here. We have paid. Uh, cumulative paid is 71,000. So we all we need to do is to get the cumulative uh, developed the next year. Take 71,000, multiply by 1.15. And you'll get, hang on, give me a second. You'll get 81,650. Yeah. So your cumulative, uh, well, your cumulative paid will develop to 81,650. To get the incremental unpaid, take this 81,650. You just minus yeah seventy one thousand okay you will get ten six five zero okay great so this is your incremental unpaid well your undiscounted that's easy ten six five zero remember you're standing here so you this is paid in the middle of the year bring it back so I have uh, one point oh five time raised to the power of minus half multiplied by this amount you will get 10393.34 we are done yeah um, all you need to do now is add up all the discounted add up all the undiscounted when you do that okay the total discounted is 92276 the total undiscounted I've done it here for you is 96950 just add all the accident years 6 7 8 up you'll get these numbers they ask you for a ratio of the discounted to the undiscounted so you take 92276 divided by uh, 96950 and you'll get 0 0.95 so your answer is C okay um, this question uh, can be done in about six minutes yeah uh, I took longer because I'm talking about it uh, but remember the ideas are not difficult but listen the uh, when you talk about discounted reserves, you need to check with your regulators whether, you know, uh, for particular whatever particular lines that you're working on, whether it's allowed, yeah? So, but anyway, that's beside the point. So, working it itself is pretty easy. Just work out your uh, incremental unpaid, okay? And then discount it for your discounted. And uh, the undiscounted part is easy. Sum it up and you're home. Thank you for watching.